Hi all, I hope you missed me. It's been a while, but I'm back with another odd video, I suppose, using something called lava paste in a resin coaster. Yes, I love adding random things to coasters just to see what they'll look like. So stick around till the end of the video to see what that turned out like. I actually filmed this video in May, I think, um, edited it throughout June, and I'm only just getting around to finishing it with a voiceover. So apologies for the delay. I hope you enjoy this. I started with a bit of cardboard from an Amazon box. Amazon boxes are like treasures to a hobby craft artist now. Um, I'm picking off the top side to reveal the corrugated cardboard underneath because it creates such awesome effects and you'll see them later when I paint it and then you add um, you brush dry paint over the top to really bring those details out. If you've seen one of my past videos you'll know what I mean. I use black gesso or primer paint to paint the whole thing black. It's a really nice matte paint. It dries really well and it dries really fast as well. If you can get it from the range, if you're in the UK and you have a range, it's cheapest there. Do not buy it on Amazon. Amazon is way expensive for this Winsor & Newton black gesso. gesso. At least it is for UK buyers. I'm not quite sure about uh, USA or other countries. So uh, this is the lava paste. It's by Cosmic Shimmer. You can search for it, but I will provide a link if I can find where I bought it from. It looks unassuming and bland, but trust me, when you get a heat gun on it, wait until you see what it does. It's pretty interesting. I think this bottle of mine is starting to go out of date maybe because the consistency is a little bit different from when I last used it but um yeah you can apply it with a spatula it's quite runny quite liquidy it looks a bit snotty in the bottle I'm I really need to use it up before it goes completely but there's just not enough time in this year I mean where's the year gone I personally have too many hobbies I've got art hobbies and then other art hobbies and crafts and there's just not enough time to use everything before it goes out of date, so. <laughs> First world problems. Hmm? So here's my stellar camera work here, completely off screen, almost. I'm applying the lava paste in thick and thin layers. So I've got some thinner areas and then I've layered it up a little bit more to create a thicker blotch, blob of lava paste. Now I've got that all spread out like a untidy sandwich. It's time to heat it with the heat gun. And this is where the magic happens. Look at that, that's such a fun effect. It's really weird, but I really like it, especially when you get to decorate it with paints and effects. The thicker areas created more larger bubbles and they are more concentrated in that area. But you also have to heat it quite a bit more because the under layers are still wet. So you have to hold the heat gun over it carefully for a little bit longer so that the under layers can bubble up as well. Now I've painted it all black. You have to be a bit careful though because some of the little bobbly bits can come off while you're painting if you're not careful because they are a bit delicate. They're actually quite fluffy, quite soft. So yeah, be aware when you do paint it. Don't be rough with it like I am. <laughs> I lost half of it. <laughs> now for one of the fun parts of painting these things is using a metallic paint to just lightly brush over. I'm using a really soft, fluffy brush. I bought it really cheap from the range. I get everything from the range. It really helps to bring out those little bits of detail. They really pop, especially all the knobbly bits. Don't forget the sides. I've done that mistake before, putting my mixed media item in a clear resin and then bam, you can see the cardboard. Now going back a day, this is me preparing the first layer of the coaster resin. I like having a black layer, especially because most of my product projects have a black base anyway, so it just works out. 
fast forward back to present day filming. This is nice and cured now. There's a bit of cardboard now exposed because I did originally try and fit it in the coaster mold, but I realized that some of the lava paste had expanded over the circle edge that I'd originally cut out. So I had to trim it back down, which took off the black edges. So the cardboard color is now showing through. I think I was a bit lazy though, and I didn't go back and paint it. Now the glue's had time to dry. I think I left it a couple of hours just to make sure with something heavy on top so it wouldn't lift up. I was afraid that the lava bubbles would uh, flatten out, but they're actually quite sturdy. They're quite hardy. Now it's resin time. I reckon that should be my catchphrase. Uh, yeah, I'm using Let's Resin Epoxy Resin again because I really like this stuff. It's very non-bubbly. It's very clear. That's top quality marketing right there. I always love when the clear resin goes on top of a mixed media uh, project because it really enhances all those peaks and the um, 3D effect. And it always looks awesome. So throughout the curing process, especially at the beginning, I make sure that any bubbles that come up from that cardboard, because the cardboard is a bitch for bubbles. It loves letting off bubbles. It farts more than I do. So i got to keep an eye on it. But they still manage to show their ugly faces at the end when it's cured completely and I can't do anything about it. So, Hence the slight indentation in the top of this one. I don't know where they came from. The little buggers. I also thought that the highest little bobbly peak wouldn't peak above the level of the resin um, height of the coaster. But it appears that one of them did just slightly. So it's another little blemish on the top of this coaster. Nitpicking aside, I really like how it turned out. It's a really grungy, different type of coaster. I doubt anybody would pick it up in a shop or on a table, but I really like it. I think it looks different. And this is me. This is my style. I really like this. So of course I'm going to like it, but I don't expect anybody else to. But the experiment was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It's nice seeing what you can do in resin and the different types of effects that happen with different media. And I hope I introduced some people to some new products that they could try, the lava paste. I don't see many crafters using this and I'm assuming it's not well known. I'm not even sure I remember how I came to know about it. I might have seen Andy Skinner's demonstration on YouTube, so go check that out, that's interesting. And if some of you watching this video do use it, let me know. I'd love to see how you've used it yourself and what effects that you've created. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry I didn't have anything sooner. Hopefully I can get back into my routine of at least one or two a week. I have one in the making. It's a Temu Timu haul. Yes, I caved. <laughs> Bye, guys.